Hey guys, it's Lam here again. Today's video, we are going to do a part two uh, heart rate accuracy test. The first video I did, I totally forgot to set the settings on my Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 to continuous. It was just set to one time um, heart rate check. So this time we're gonna put it to continuous so that we could really match it with my oximeter here and see if the accuracy is the same. Um, I did test it out after the video that I created. I think it was a couple of days now. I did test it out with the continuous and it was pretty much dead on with the oximeter here that I use at work. So let's do this. We're gonna change the settings first on the Watch Active 2 here. We scroll down to change it to continuous. Okay, so now my heart rate monitor will just measure, will automatically measure my heart rate. Okay, so it should start measuring but for some reason here, it's not working. Let's go about, there you go. So now it should measure my heart rate continuously. And um, there you go. So now it's fluctuating as you can see from there. Okay, so let's put on the oximeter and see how accurate this watch is. So we're at 92. And let's just let it settle down for a bit and see the reading, what we will get. Okay, 88. 87. As you can see, it is pretty much dead on there, guys. 92 and 94. 93, 92. So they're pretty much identical when it comes to reading. So there you go. 91 and 93, 92, 94. So this heart rate monitor on the Galaxy Watch Active 2 is accurate. So you don't have to worry about this being not accurate. It is dead on accurate, guys. But of course, if you do set up your um, heart rate monitor to continuous, your battery will completely die really fast, guys. I did set it up for the entire day and I think half, almost uh, in the evening, my battery was running around 30%. So it sucks, you know, it's a, it's a nice feature to have the heart rate monitor to continuously monitor your heart rate. But of course, due to the battery, it's doesn't, it just doesn't have enough uh, juice to uh, run it throughout the day. That's the only negative thing about this watch. If you do run it with the continuous heart rate, as you can see there, guys, it is still dead on 89 to 90 it's just amazing how technology nowadays can just read our heart rate accurately and uh, we don't have to uh, think about it of not being accurate anymore guys so if you watch the other video that i created forget about that video just focus on the result what we have uh, witnessed here guys all right, so one more thing I want to point out on my last video. A lot of uh, my reviewers or my um, my viewers were complaining that my placement of my active watch 2 is too low, uh, too low on my wrist here. It should be below, uh, back here, but I'm going to prove you guys wrong that the placement doesn't really matter. It will still read accurately if you place it more down here. Either way, it will read accurately. So here we go. So my watch is reading 89 
and the oximeter is at 87 fluctuating 89 87 87 right now so we're dead on 85 89 so it doesn't really matter where is the placement you place your watch on your wrist it will read dead on accurate all right so don't worry about the placement you are good to go so once again guys thank you for watching my video until then i'll see you guys on the next one peace